Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Welcome back everyone. So in this video we will check the remaining visualization types. Let's create an, create an empty dashboard. Okay, so from this sample data let's select the Rio Olympics data. You can select any data of your choice so you can upload your own data. If you are trying to visualize things by experimenting on them, you can simply select any sample data or if you want to create some proper dashboard for your educational purpose or for any other purpose, you can upload your own Excel file or CSV file or any other data of the format you have. So for now, we have checked the visualization still GeoMap. Now let's check the line chart, combo charts, different type of these charts. So this is line chart. Line charts are quite simple if you want to uh, visualize some data with respect to some time or with respect to some other variable like if you if you have two or three variables and you want to check the effect on each other or you want to check that either one of them is increasing or decreasing or what's the effect of one variable on other variable so you simply use combo charts or line charts. In these type of charts uh, provided by Data Studio you have bar chart and line chart combined in the form. Uh, combined in a single visualization so as you can see that in this visualization uh, we have the red color bars indicating that exposed or field or whatever the variable is and the line is showing us the percentage of intent or if you want to check for example let's suppose we want to check the intent and product recall so this is the simple data you can check that the behavior of of intent and product percentage recall is this way that in the United or in Coca-Cola, in Toyota, BMW, McDonald's or all the other variables. So this, these are the company names and the matrices here are percentage intent or percentage recall of the product. So this is quite simple to visualize. You can simply, okay, so here you can check that every bar is showing us some information at two points at one point you can say but of two variables <clears throat> so for example for now this is showing us that bmw the percentage of intent is 25 and the product percentage recall is 0 0.5 so this is the data you can visualize via line chart or this combo chart this is known as combo chart because you have more than one uh, metric displayed here you can also check um let's suppose uh advertiser type if i use a dimension so the advertiser type will be presented here. okay so sponsored non-sponsored so if you check the behavior that it's showing us that the non-sponsor or the sponsor add behavior so this is in this manner like it is showing us two of the uh, matrices the percentage intent and percentage recall so these are quite simple to use you can use them like if you want to check that the uh, exam for example you have the data of a class students and you want to check the number of grades or you want to check the uh, marks of the students or, or the distribution of marks so you can use the bar chart and if you want or you also want to check the um, top marks or any other attribute of the students you can simply use the bar chart to visualize more than one parameter at a time so even if you have uh, more than two attributes to visualize in a chart so data studio have some other charts for this so let's check the remaining charts so these are stacked combo charts stacked combo charts so these are very useful in a sense that they represent a great information in quite simple format like for now you can check that it is showing us uh, three the three of the values like the yellow color is representing us the recall red color is showing us the exposed or field whatever the attribute is and the blue line here is showing us the percentage intent so in this manner if you have three attributes you can simply use combo charts or stack charts so I think you can use more than three charts three attributes here like if you want to um, let's say unexposed field so you can also add this as a metric I think okay so this is great like you can check that a single bar is representing th three different type of uh, informations and 
the line here is also showing you some of the data so this is quite useful if for example if you want if you have the um, let's suppose uh, a student name here and you want to check the percentage of student marks in every subject so you can also use tagged bar chart in this manner like you can set, check that in which subject students are getting higher marks or in which subject students are getting low marks or the percentage distribution like you can check that the green color is indicating the maximum portion here so the unexposed field or whatever this attribute is representing so its value is maximum and the blue line is also showing that it's decreasing or uh, the for example in this Samsung category the red portion is quite small and yellow is increased and green is further higher so these are the stacked bar charts these are known as, they are known as stacked bar chart because the data is stacked over one another so you can simply uh, check the data in quite simple format you can select the colors you can set the attributes as per you need so for example if you click on the cumulative so the line is showing you the cumulative uh, distribution or cumulative uh, data that at every next point it is adding the data of the previous all points so this is not useful in our case for now but you can use if you want show points if I click on show points so it will show you the dots of the on the blue line so for now it is showing us all the data for series 1 so here our series 1 is the blue color line so all the attributes you set here will be changed for the blue line or for the series 1 okay the series 2 is red color bar so you can change the color to red color bar or you can um, okay so here you can check that if we change the series 2 from bars to line so it will also show us the line of that color rather than showing us the bar so we'll undo this selection you can also select the color of you of your choice or you can do whatever you want so third is the yellow color series and fourth one is the green color series which is representing unexposed field here or anything so stack bar you can also select smooth so so this is the case rather than showing stack bar it is showing us the uh, bar in front of each other so you can use any type of okay so axis you can select right or left you can set the axis value on the right or on the left this is the case number of points you can select the number of points if you reverse the x axis or y axis direction so the data will be inverted or it will be moved to 360 degree or some other effect will okay so y axis to y axis title so it is showing us the y axis title that percentage intent exposed field or recall or log scale it is not recommended to use sometime okay so the y-axis yes if I drag and drop this one so it will show you the axis information to custom ticks so if I increase or decrease the custom ticks interval so this will also change the data some of the you can check that sometimes I apply uh, styling but it is not uh, very well uh, represented with the type of visualization because we are using because sometimes we don't have the data of that type we don't have the data which uh, represents the changes we have applied so that's why sometimes all the changes are not clearly visible but I try to make them okay so you can change the axis color like you can check that the blue line is appearing grid color you can change the grid color like you can say the grid is dated changing the font if I change the font you can check that the font is changed and all these attributes are quite easy to deal with so these are all the attributes so you can simply view all the changes we have just applied so these are the changes we have applied okay so if I go back and check the other type of line charts so we have um, okay so line chart simple line chart so if you want to add multiple features you can also add the features here like if you want to add the recall matrix so it will add the recall matrix in this chart like this one so this is simple same as the first one so for now it is showing us simple data of 
one of the attribute like which is the percentage of intent like the BMW has this percent of intent or the United or any other company has this percentage of intent so this is quite easy to visualize these are all the same charts but with little variations you can also check the smooth chart here the smooth chart the difference between the first one and the smooth chart is the line here is the is in quite smooth manner it is no it don't have spikes or don't have some sharp edges so they are totally the same so you can uh, visualize any type of data you have for example let me show you if i add the add type as a dimension the smooth chart so it will automatically be updated so i think it's taking some time okay so this is how it will be updated uh, one more thing you can check that like every other video like every other visualization i try to show that you can add multiple type of filters here like if you want to check data for um, let's suppose coca-cola only and uh, let's suppose apple so all the data will be represented here as per the filter you have used so coca-cola and apple all the charts will be updated so inspiring intent it this one so this is the case here so for now this is all from line charts or these stack bar charts so we'll continue with next visualization in other video thanks